Hey guys, today we're going to start working on improving the balance of the 914 trailer. With the wheels up where they were previously on my conceptual design, I tried to move the trailer and found an incredible amount of weight on the tongue. So after some discussion with you 914 guys on the forum, I went back to my original plan of cutting into the firewall and moving the wheels back recessed into the chassis. And this will take some frame modification to get the tires to fit, but we'll make it happen. This would shift the weight towards the center of the chassis considerably when it's loaded. And we'll also add some ballast to the back of the trunk to offset the weight on the tongue. So let's get started. Welcome to Budget Outlaws. Today in part two of the trailer build, we're gonna fix a tongue weight issue with a bit of a redesign. Cut out some more weight and do some wiring. We'll start by cutting out the firewall. Well, most of the sheet metal on the 914 and many cars is pretty thin, but there's a lot of places where it's double layer, and so that can be a problem when you're trying to get this simple little piece of sheet metal out. But uh, yeah, yeah, it comes out. Just got to find all the little tags and get them cut. Now I left the center bar uh, underneath the window frame there so that it would uh, yeah, leave some aesthetics, but uh, as you'll see in a few minutes, it's going to go. So now we're cutting out the front tire bar, so, and uh, here I decided to just hang uh, the tires on there just to get an idea how much weight I was going to be savings. Now I added the batteries in the back for ballast to try and simulate tools and such that is going to be back there. So after doing some measurements to figure out how wide the tires were and how much space I needed, I cut out the frame section that uh, was limiting how far back the tires could go. And it's pretty strong in there, double walled with, uh, with my plate on the front. Now granted I'm cutting into the plate, but I'm going to also... Uh, uh, box it in with some more metal so it's it's still going to be plenty strong for a trailer wide enough so that I can put a full 12 inch set of tires on there and 12 inches would be a, a, the most it would ever fit on this car the front plates that where I welded the tubes to is real thick it's like 3 16 or better uh, the rest of it's pretty thin gauge, but it's double wall and pretty strong. But sometimes it's hard to get back in there and get that second wall cut. I figured it out, got them cut out, and uh, so that's it's uh, cut back now. Yeah. This is going to be plenty solid to tow as a trailer. But I'll box it in with some, some metal and uh, make it look pretty and, well, I'll make it look stronger. <laughs> I don't do pretty. <laughs> okay, so going on to the next step. In order for me to get them back all the way, I either have to drop this down further or cut this off. And so this is getting cut. So to protect the structural not that it really matters, but you know, kind of wanted to make sure that it's not going to do something weird. So I welded this little bracket in place that I made, and then I'm going to cut here and see if I can squeeze them in and not, not cut this little shelf off. Otherwise, it'll probably go as well because it's definitely inside that line. I think we have a good plan here. So just now put those in. I haven't weighed it yet, so I'm going to weigh it. It's all just tacked in this time instead of welding it fully before I test it. I think that center line is probably at least 12 inches back. Let's see what the weight is. Okay, so better. So now with, after I zero the scale with the jack, I'm at 85. I'm going to read it. That's a whole lot better than 150. 
So now I've got lots of plans here. I still have a ton of engine room here. Get this down. The plan is to box it right behind the tires here, give it a little room, basically right on this black line where the uh, finned or the graded engine cover is. So build a box, cut all of this out, like inside here, leave the inner fenders, leave the, the shock mounts, and then drop that because that can go down. There's a whole bunch of room underneath here. That's just a ton of space. Drop that down at least a foot and just see where we're at. And Andrew and I were brainstorming last night and just all kinds of ideas for putting tools right on the back here so they're easy to get to. Make them so that they you work right out of the back of the trunk or remove them so that you could uh, haul them somewhere to work on something. Find some place down here for a jack so it's hanging off the back. I bet I could get 200 pounds on the back of this if, if I didn't, didn't work too hard. And then just the lighter stuff in the front. That's... That's doable for me. And I really like the idea of having a trailer and everything loaded in it, ready to go. And whether I actually stick with this or not, I don't know, because this really only works for me for, for short-term trips. Because once I get into a, a long-term trip, like uh, going to Thunder Hill or someplace, which is four-hour drive. I want the big. I want the big uh, trailer, and the car on the trailer. So if I break it, I can just load it up and haul it home to fix it. All right. So the addendum is a way of locking it down, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to call this a concept because honestly, it sucks. I have to deal with the varying tire sizes because these are about half an inch shorter. And so some way of locking those down, some way of pivoting it up as the angle there is all wrong. It doesn't want to go higher than about there. I mean, it works. I could get it and just strap it down and be good. But I also want to make it longer so it comes over here more. So that the tires can't, you know, I know they're really not going to go anywhere just like that. But I just feel more comfortable if it was hitting about there. Well, I also wired up the tail lights, and if you've ever worked with 914 tail lights, you'll know that was a joy. But I managed to get them all working. Still missing the lens for the one side. So if anybody's got a lens, uh, quick before somebody sees my really ugly patch job here. But the lights work, and uh, I think with the work done to the front end, it's going to be ready to hit the road. In Oregon, we don't have to uh, uh, register light trailers, so uh, only have to register it if I take it out of state. And as you can see, it still pulls just fine and works real well. The tires are a little loose. have to work on that bracket to hold it down. Backing up isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be with such a short trailer. The lights are there. The chains are on. It's pretty much ready to go down to the track, which is coming up real soon. Oh, and this is the best part. I can lift it. And that's just with a little bit of ballast in the back so that to simulate the tools that'll be back there. And here's the final numbers. With a bunch of ballast in the back, it's 74 pounds at the ton. You know, I think it's gonna work just fine. Well, thanks for watching our videos and subscribing to the channel. We really appreciate it. And join us for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.